Hallelujah. Shalom. The Lord bless you. My name is Clovis Asobi. I'm so happy to have you here. God bless you. If this is your first time being here, welcome to my channel, Atmosphere of Prophecy, Word and Prayer. Alright family, if you have been here before, thank you so much for staying. Please consider subscribing if this is your first time. I have a strong word this afternoon for someone. This is very, very important. You know, I've been praying and preparing for 2022 and some of the things the Lord is revealing to me and is speaking to me, I want to share with you. It might be for you. You see, this afternoon, I was just going through this amazing story that I've been reading always in the Bible about Elisha in 2 Kings chapter 4. When you read chapter 4, this talks about a story of a woman who had to house the prophet for a time and then... Uh, she conceived and had a child that, that the prophet prophesied and later the child died and the bible says when the child when elisha went to pray for the child he stretched himself upon the child he stretched himself upon the child you find that in second kings 4 verse 34 he stretched himself and then i was like ah, how can an adult stretch himself upon a child place his head on the head of a child a child from the description a child is not someone that is too big for a prophet to stretch himself upon a child and the Lord said to me one of the things that you need to do for 2022 is to stretch yourself listen you have been praying you have been fasting you have been studying amazing but 2022 if you want to eat a large portion of what the Lord has promised you you must stretch yourself this is not for everybody there are people that are okay with what they are doing yeah, you like to pray for 30 minutes every day. You like to pray for 10 minutes every day. It's okay. You are going to get the same results you have been getting. And don't blame the Lord for not doing anything. <laughs> you have to stretch yourself. This time, you are fasted. You say, Pastor, I've been fasting for the past 10 years. I stretch it out another 10 years to eat. <laughs> the Lord said to me, Son, 2022 is a great harvest for us. But you need to stretch yourself again. Come out of where you are and stretch yourself. Come out of the place you are and stretch yourself. And I'm here to tell someone, you're watching this right now. This maybe came as just scrolling. Maybe someone shared this with you. Maybe because you're subscribed here. I want to tell you, stop doing the regular. The Spirit says, stretch yourself. Stretch yourself for more anointing. Listen, the Lord made me to understand when I was meditating on this scripture. He says, do you know that there is more in you to achieve more than what you see? There is more in me to achieve more than what I already see and what I already possess. Which means there is something in me bigger and greater that can help me achieve more of what I even wrote down on my book. But it will only come to pass if I stretch myself. The anointing in me will be stretched. The, 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 the gift in me, I need to stretch to see them manifest. If Elijah did not stretch himself, the anointing for raising the dead wouldn't have come. So I'm here to encourage you. You are doing well, absolutely well. But this time, stretch yourself. You expect God to give you a house and you want to sleep and sleep and sleep and expect the magic to happen. You expect God that should help you build a nation and you are sleeping. Nobody that you see today that you admire today just sat on their comfort place without doing something stress yourself stress yourself that's a word for someone stress yourself make up your mind i'm going to study the word of god more than ever i'm going to pray more than ever 2022 i'm going to fast more than ever 2022 i'm going to give more than ever 2022 i'm going to stretch my capacity there is something within me don't forget it that can do more than what is already happening if you stretch You'll be able to search deeper walls and you'll be, able, you'll be able to gather greater harvest. That is what the Lord says I should tell somebody. So if you are leaving this place, go back. Go and re-strategize and stretch yourself bigger and better. God bless you. I pray that the Spirit will speak to you to open your eyes to understand deep things. And you'll be able to go deeper and deeper and deeper to get what the Lord has for you. God bless you. Please kindly share this video to someone and drop a comment. Or drop your comment in the comment section. Let me hear about how you're planning for 2022. The first thing is stretch yourself. I will tell you more updates as a spirit lead. Shalom.